here's our disclaimer. This is meant as a joke and is not a super serious, in-depth guide to FX and V. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, any jabs I throw at anyone's way of playing the game is for comedic purposes only, especially when it comes to people's skill and performance. So basically, maybe don't watch a comedy video if you don't have a sense of humor. Uh, let's just get that out the way before. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. We're not playing 100% efficiently. Everybody does it. Nobody's perfect, except for me. Enjoy. Do you believe in magic wearing a massive hat? It's a difficult skill and time consuming at that. And it's magic, the explodious kind. The best role to make your party go fully blind. I'll tell you about the magic if you insist I must. But if I stand in AOEs, then healers got to adjust. Healers, what? why didn't you adjust? Rapping? Welcome to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a loud. The last group of the derps per Cirque's job is the magical range DPS, or just magic for short. Look at the hat, look at the hat, nothing up my sleeves. You are the hey. most important person in the party because when the going gets tough, a big hat is required. And the amount of damage you do is proportionally connected to the size of your brim. Where the melee is sniffing up the boss's farts and the Not range of shouting easy. yo mama jokes while making love Severe. to the arena's boundaries, you are the healthy middle, standing your ground till you go down to pound town when you found the sound that makes the bad guys frown. You don't do as much damage oh on God. average <laughs> as the melees, instead to trade it off for the utility of being able to attack at a range from anywhere in the arena. With one major difference He's from your physical fire. range cousin, the cast bar. That little lightish red loading beam that you see just about every other main story quest when you have to search a suspicious book or scout out for the next place Thancred will find yet another new color of depression. Most you Is Thancred still depressed? I have no plans to die, but I'm so tired of living. <laughs> he might, he, he, last time we saw him, he did seem like he didn't really care that much about what we were doing. <laughs> Bush or scout out for the next place Thankward will find yet you another new color of depression. First. Most of your skills require you to stand perfectly still in order to have your big numbers to go off. And if you so much as special edition Han Solo your neck to get a better angle at your hot naked tank, your skill stops and everybody sees how you are no longer looking respectfully. Luckily, every single <laughs> casting job usually has a lewd calendar's worth of tools to circumvent you having to staple your feet to the floor. Which does mean, in order to up your mobility without losing out on DPS, you'll need to learn the right sequence of buttons to press like you're playing a seven-dimensional accordion. That said, there's one universal trick to upping your mobility no matter the job, and that's the maneuver known as the slide, slide casting. Yeah. Though you normally- Oh man, somebody please make a gif of <laughs> Somebody please make the gif. I feel like Black Mage is the meme caster job that gets all of the meme videos made about casting. Yeah. Though you normally have to wait for the entirety of the cast bar so to complete. Little known fact, once it reaches about four fifths of the way through, you need no longer restrain your movements as though your feet were sweating gorilla glue. And you can afford a small amount of movement without losing possible uptime. Cool tip, this applies not only to the magic DPS, but any skill for any job that has a cast bar. So you can even be a sliding, slicing samurai. <laughs> the magic limit break, similar to this the range is DPS, advice. is an AoE that deals less base damage than the melees, but can hit multiple targets. In this case, a massive circle instead. And now you can make fun of the boss for not moving out of the obviously telegraphed danger puddle for a change. Boy, do I love throwing stones out of my glass house. The family of magic is made up of three siblings. Okay, that's a lie. It's actually four, but the smallest one kind of went a weird career path, and they're not often invited to the New Year's parties. The Black Mage is a fantastic job if you're a fan of Cookie Clicker, because you're pressing the same button over and over again ad nauseum to see big number go brrrr. During rotation, Maybe you start out headbanging explosions at the bad guy actually. like a- That sounds awesome! until you're completely out of mana. Then you go into a goth phase where you chug a bunch of cold energy drinks, getting you back to peak performance where you can go back to- <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Although you have tools to keep yourself- It just really reminded me of the uh, WoW PvP mage videos that I used to watch back in the day. They all had this kind of music the entire time. It was always some undead mage. It was just blasting people with fire bolts and uh, entire, yeah. That's for the reason actually. That's why I started playing Mage in World of Warcraft. And you know what? I actually never played Black Mage in Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I got it to 90, I think, for the glance, but I never learned how to play it. It's one of the only jobs I never actually really learned how to play. Maybe 7.0 Black Mage arc. For me. Mobile, yeah, like know. the other mages, you will often be the least dancey and find yourself pitching a tent like you just discovered the sniper tower on Rust. It also wins the award for having the slowest. Leveling. Yeah. Experience. Yeah, <laughs> oh god. Ever. Next is a summoner that. who has gone through so many reworks that odds are by the time this video is published, it'll have already been changed into a tank job with four dots and another job stone. You summon the. Hey, that would actually be amazing. <laughs> 
can uh, can we have that? Can we have Tank Summoner as our as our tank for 7.0? Dots please? and another job stone. You summon the dragon that nearly destroyed the world five years ago, which some may consider in poor taste if they happen to have a loved one's name written in the seventh Umbral Calamity Memorial it is Museum. Awkward. And after you're it done making them relive their trauma, get to double, triple, and quadruple down on using avatars <laughs> of terror by summoning life-size <laughs> copies of three monstrosities that killed a lot of innocent people. Chili Boy gives you slow casts and a gap closer, thick thigh bird woman drops a mildly uncomfortable breeze, and she, as well as Chicken Nugget, it turns you into a physical range DPS, where you no longer have to worry about the cast bar anymore. Suck it, Black Mage. After you're finished offending the local countryside, you Reminds bring out a big Larry. firebird that'll restore the party's health. Hey, if you're gonna make Larry range today. DPS obsolete, might as well do the same for healers too, right? Lastly, the Red Mage, the most fashionable job. You steal gimmicks from everybody else like you're a YouTuber wanting to make more than minimum wage. You've got a heal like a white mage, but a little <laughs> bit less thick. You've got explosions like a black mage, but a little bit less... And you even get a backflip to your death like a dragoon, but a little bit more sexy. In combat, sexy. you flip between using black That's and white true. magic attacks in order to build up a mana gauge to spend slashing your sword with a whole lot of sexual <laughs> tension. Maybe lifting the enemy's chin with the tip of it, saying some threatening innuendo while you're at it. What makes you special, aside from the sick drip and stylish moves, is that Ooh. after each spell you hard cast Ooh. with a cast bar, any spell that follows is instant, meaning you only have to sit still about half of the time. Suck it, black mage. This also means you're even more efficient at raising down allies than the healer, since you have essentially infinite swift casts, and the only thing holding you back is the fact that Rezzing the whole party will suck you dry like you're an anime boy with no eyes. Red Mage's limit break is also special in that it- What? Fast, Wait, what? Huh? And now you know how to- Yeah, Man. I didn't forget. I was just hoping that you had. Playing- <laughs> I didn't forget. I was just hoping that you had- That's kind of how I feel every time, uh, they remember that they need to push out a Blue Mage update. They're like, oh yeah. <laughs> what about Blue Mage? We need to take care of that for the sensation right? So they actually just did. Then this video really makes me want to play a caster. I'm so hyped to play, play a caster. Hope tomorrow we get a new caster. Yeah, I didn't forget. I was just hoping that you had. Playing play Blue Summoner, Mage is only a portion That's of the Blue fate. Mage experience. The That's rest of fate. it is starting sentences involving the job with the wait, words. Wait, wait, wait. Looking up what spells are available to learn. Reaching the enemy that uses the spell. Failing to <laughs> learn the spell. Realizing the spell sucks and is not useful. In <laughs> 90% of scenarios. And then yelling, <laughs> what about blue? <laughs> How do you have the deaths? Each patch. This is the truest thing I've ever heard anyone say <laughs> about blue mage. This is so sad. What about? Yes, though it may be classified in the magical range. Like someone please translate that into Japanese and give it to Yoshi P tomorrow. Print it out. <laughs> Hey, it's DPS category, blue is unique in the fact that one, to blue mage, is to suffer. And two, it is considered a limited job. So it has to sit in the corner all by itself while the rest of the kids on the playground actually get to hang out. You it's are so unable sad. to play blue mage with the other jobs in most level synced and current content, especially high end stuff like savage raids and ERP. Why is this? Because if it weren't, whoever's in charge of designing and balancing the elaborate and. What do you mean? You can use it in ERP. It's got sticky tongue. What else are you going to use that for? <laughs> <laughs> you actually, you know when the blue mage's time to shine is? It's whenever we have the Moogle Tombstone event. And you, like, yeah, you can all laugh all you want about blue mage until it's Moogle Tombstone event time and you want that shiny new Ifrit jacket from the rewards. And the best way to get the dungeon done in like five seconds is to go in with a whole raid of blue mages and you can clear it out in like literally 1.3 seconds. That happened. For the actually, yeah, that happened for the Ifrit jacket. Anyway, Complex boss fights at Square Enix would probably be under suicide watch. The Blue Mage's unique power <laughs> is that it can learn a ton of skills, spells, and abilities from the various enemies and bosses in the game, including Plane but not limited to. That's another ERP. <gasps> There's ultra vibration and rows of destruction and sticky tongue snore mustard bomb. Oh my Official god! Transfixion, quasar malediction of water and fire and gone. Peculiar life feather rain and shock strike song of torment and basic instinct. <laughs> flying frenzy and loom and bounce on a boom. Flying sword and kick final sting. Triple trident and white. When in level 5 petro 5,000 oh needles kind of sucks. There's a jet and fates and trench fusion and blaze. Yoko Meteor and self destruct. Wow! And now you know how to play magic. You're welcome. That was so great! Suck it. That was such. Wait, what? Suck it, Black Mage. I've never seen so much love shown to Blue Mage since Blue Mage came out. <laughs> I think even when it came out, I hadn't seen such a such compassion and care shown to Blue Mage. I think my fave is still Summoner. 
Uh, black beige is too scary uh, and hard. <laughs> I like my big dragon friends to help. But yeah, that was so great. What a fantastic video has come to expect from Joe Cat. Here's the link.